My song wasn't done. It was. I want a munch. I want to munch. Justin, you might need to have a word with your guitarist. He's uh, he's kind of riffing a little there, stealing a little attention. He's in a different. He's in a different tuning. He's oh. doing he's open trying to D. Draw focus. He's on that Nick Drake shit. He's, he's in the Nick Drake open D, beautiful. Okay. It's that drop D tuning. Uh, so listen, I got a few, like, just brief stories I want to share. Oh, this uh, is nice. Yeah, just some brief stories. Tim Hortons is giving away pumpkins with the beverage orders. If you're at a Tim Hortons in the U.S. and you buy pumpkin spice beverage through the Tim Hortons app, when you go and pick it up, they're going to give you a pumpkin. Whether you want one or not. No matter what you do, <laughs> if you get a pumpkin spice latte, a pumpkin spice ice cap, whatever, they don't care. They're going to put a pumpkin in your car. Wow. If you try to leave it in the restaurant, they will chase you through the parking mm-hmm. lot with a pumpkin saying, wait, 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 your pumpkin. They will find you. If you go through the drive through and don't stop to get your pumpkin, when you get home, you're going to open the back door and there's the pumpkin. And, and you're going to throw that pumpkin in the fire. But then later tonight, when you go to bed, you're going to pull back the covers and there's the pumpkin, brand new, whole, once again. You're going to make it, you're uh, going to make a wish and the pumpkin's going to rot before your very eyes in a matter yeah. of seconds. But uh, be careful what you wish for because the pumpkin is very literal. Yeah. Next story. Uh, from Joseph requires a little bit of cultural education. Do you know what Kraft Mac and Cheese is called in Canada? No. Uh, Kraft Dinner. Thank you, Travis. Pumpkin Spice KD is coming to Canada oh, this no. fall. That's not my acronym. It's theirs. In one of the more unlikely partnerships of 2020, Kraft Dinner has announced they are unveiling Pumpkin Spice KD. Wait, what's the partnership? Kraft and Pumpkins? <laughs> Crafted pumpkins <laughs> hitting shelves in Canada this October. Pumpkin spice KD is made with the same classic KD cheese powder Canadians know and love, as well as the addition of fall flavors, including hints of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and ginger. Ew. <sighs> While some may uh, feel the combination is not something they're interested in trying, others are, as Canadians have already begun signing up to try the new concoction. <laughs> you have to sign up? Plates. You gotta, well, okay, Joseph, who sent this in uh, to, to the Munch Squad tip line, um, said the cowards are only making a thousand boxes of the stuff. Oh, okay. Someone from the company was on the radio saying they have a wait list of over ten thousand people waiting to try it. So I don't, I don't know. People are dying for it. Um, here's the quote: "KD has always been known for one of its kind, one of a kind cheesy taste." And after years of watching Canadians get excited for pumpkin spice season, we felt that it was time to combine these two iconic flavors and create pumpkin spice KD. It was time to cash in. Cash in on the KD. This this is good. Canadians have always made KD their own way, and not many people would expect KD to be part of the PSL conversation, but that's the whole point. What? Only one heard me that's the whole point because it's so wild only a thousand will be made so move over lattes and muffins pskd is the new must try flavor this fall this is vulgar (laughs) maybe people will buy a box of it and they'll sell it on ebay for a lot of money and then that song if i had a million dollars we wouldn't have to eat craft dinner but we would finally be able to eat the craft dinner that is seasoned with pumpkin spice so this next last story is one a lot of people sent in, and I just wanted to do it so I would stop getting emails about it. Red Lobster and Pepsi Co. have kicked off a new relationship with the Dew Garita, yeah. the first Mountain Dew cocktail. Why, Finally. Red, why is Red Lobster the one? Why wouldn't Red Lobster be the one? Because well, Griffin, Red Lobster and Pepsi have been dancing around each other for a while now, and we're all thinking time to just get to it and get to fucking, by which I mean create a Mountain Dew-based cocktail that goes with any lobster-based dish. Okay. I, uh, this is the first, I sorry, I should be clear. <laughs> this is the first official Mountain oh. Dew cocktail. See, because I, 
I know at least, for example, the first time I ever got drunk was on a cocktail I created made of Popov vodka and Mountain Dew Code Red. So yeah. that might have been the f- that was never adopted officially by the company. Halo juice. That's what yeah. you called it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking land fuel, baby. You could call it Code Red Square. That's actually not bad. Red Lobster and PepsiCo are teaming to create exciting new ways to enjoy great seafood. Along, Wait. I guess you had to bring that yourself <laughs> to the Red Lobster with the great taste and variety of PepsiCo products. The duo will leverage their iconic food and beverage brands to create a variety of craveable new menu items, starting with the Dew Garita, the first Mountain Dew cocktail. God help me, friends. If you wake up in the morning craving a Dew Garita, go back to bed. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. Try. Want something better. Want better. <laughs> Want Dream better. bigger. The, the Dew Garita pairs perfectly with Red Lobster's iconic Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Does it? It's a new fucking official. official My friends. Dirt. dirt. <laughs> it's a new <laughs> official. My dear friends. Hey, it's a new official. Uh, a hors d'oeuvres for dirt bags. <laughs> it's Stu Garita. Hey, I'm Travis McRoy, representative for uh, Red Lobster for 2020. I'm going, this year, we just skipped all the trouble. We soaked the Cheddar Bay Biscuits in the Dew Garita. You can just pick yourself up a soaking wet. Cheddar Bay Biscuit, horse the whole thing down, get the job done right. If I was standing in an infinite warehouse with infinite typewriters manned by infinite monkeys, and I stood up front, I gave the prompt, okay, you silly guys, uh, what beverage, (laughs) what liquid, potable liquid on earth would you pair with Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits? (laughs) Never. Never would somebody be like, ooh. I'm thinking alcohol, so maybe a margarita, but in the, instead yeah. of like the regular margarita stuff, a Mountain Dew mixed in there, because that will contrast Perfect. the notes of cheddar and bay and biscuit. It's fart cutery, is what we call it. Uh, made using a top secret recipe, this refreshingly fun Can cocktail. I guess <laughs> will begin rolling out to select Red Lobster restaurants in September. And will be available nationwide by the end of 2020, which is sounds more of a th- like a threat. The Red Lobster and PepsiCo innovation teams are quickly working uh, together to leverage iconic PepsiCo brands across the Frito Lay and Qu- Quaker range of products to create uh, tasty menu items. Look forward to uh, Wilfred Brimley's Quaker Oat Squares Old Fashions. <laughs> um, ah, I like how you've dusted the rim. Uh, uh, a uh, free cosmopolitan. That's a cosmopolitan made with Fritos. If you guys have any others uh, from the Frito Lay family of products, please let me know. Uh, free cosmopolitan. That's a Frito cosmopolitan. Uh, sorry, you guys are lagging out. I'm not hearing the Mark inquiries. Dorito. What's that? Oh, Mark Dorito. Okay, that's fine. We've actually already done a uh, you're margarita right, you're one. Right, you're right. Red Lobster guests will also be able to enjoy a broad range of beverages, Oof. a broad range of beverages from PepsiCo, including Pepsi, huh. <laughs> Mountain Dew, and Stubborn Craft Soda, as well as bubbly sparkling water, life water, Tropicana, and non-carbonated options like lemonade and agua fresca. Hey, um, so you're just saying that you'll still have... <laughs> So what they said in this paragraph is that this will not be the only trick. Don't you worry. <laughs> if you choose to take the coward's way out, you don't have to date, drink the Dugarita. Fucking Red Lobster's the coward. If you're going to introduce a Dugarita into your fucking lineup, make it mandatory. Damn it. <laughs> hey, man, if you don't drink the Dug, then you don't drink a Red Lobster. There's there's people out there who don't drink alcohol. There's people out there who don't drink Mountain Dew. And neither of those people are welcome at Red Lobster for the next couple months. So pull up to the trough, <laughs> get yourself a drink. And over here, we just got a big pile of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. You are in. You got to. If you are willingly um, eating inside of a Red Lobster currently, you should be forced to drink a Dugarita. Yeah. That should be good. Well, hand that's in good because it'll kill all the germs in your body. Sure. Red Lobster and PepsiCo. We found the vaccine. <laughs> but the bad news is it's, it's Dugarita. We can save them, but at what cost? 
Uh, I'm not sure. Gosh, Ooh. let me think about it. Red Lobster and PepsiCo both understand how much food and beverages enhance memorable moments from casual gathering. Do you remember during COVID when we went and drank fucking Dugaritas and got COVID there? That but, was so but, weird. But, but casually. <laughs> casually. So it's like doesn't even count. Uh, with both our brands on deck to wow guests, we can't wait to dream up more phenomenal flavor pairings together to bring some very special offerings and experiences to the table. Red Red Lobster and PepsiCo also share a common passion for sustainability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sustainability of everything other than the human race ostensibly uh, aiming to create a more environmentally friendly experiences for guests both companies are partners with the ocean conservancy and trash free seas sure. alliance trash free seas trash full red lobsters that's my motto what we do is every time we harvest a mountain dew we plant two more don't it's worry a- about it <laughs> Any trash that we find in your oceans, we just bring straight into the yeah. restaurant and find out a way to make it into a margarita. <laughs> the relationship will leverage the goals of both companies to incorporate more sustainable packaging and distribution techniques of the future. Uh, I want my dugarita in a little plastic pouch like they used to put milk in in elementary school. They have to jab with a, a straw. That's how I want it. Just a big communal so. cup. Just put, Just get rid of the water in the tank with the lobsters in it that you pick which one you want to eat. And put, fill that with Dugarita, and then whatever you can yes. scoop out of there with two hands. And put the lobsters back in. Put the lobsters in, back in. Because they want a party. Yeah, listen, listen. And also because we can't have water in this building at all, or else people are going to be tempted to drink it. it they, not a drop. Not a drop. Now, let me tell you, boys. I'm a simple man, mm. and I enjoy mm. the simple pleasures. I've enjoyed uh, shrimp. At the, red, I've, the endless shrimp. Is one of life's great joys, as far as I'm concerned. I've enjoyed That's, a red lobster before. First, first restaurant we ever took Charlie That's to. Right. My first daughter was uh, was at the Shrimp Vortex of Endless Shrimp. That's true. I I attempted to consume a hundred. I think I made it to eighty five. It was the worst day of my life. It was not great, but I I enjoy a cheddar bay to biscuit. Sure. Uh, or this not. The year of our Lord 2020, and perhaps any other time in existence, would I be tempted to attend a feast at Red Lobster and indulge perhaps in a Dugarita? Why are you paired talking with like a Cheddar this? Bay Biscuit? I, because who I'm a classic, classic boy who. You're a classic, would... classy boy? Yeah. <laughs> what the That's fuck? Me. You, were just, you were just speaking like an old English bard. Yep. That character, Trav. That character went for went so hard in the paint for so long. That's like a there was a point, boy. There was a. It's so it's such a thin sliver that people were probably listening. Like this must be a reference to something. <laughs> no, I thought it was that's just one of those those fancy lads that you see eating at Red Lobster any other time except now. But there had to be a point when you were saying all that stuff when you were like, "Man, I've been doing this this wild voice." For a long time, and it doesn't make much sense, but I can't possibly stop now. Can I tell you what's weird, Griffin? Yeah, I didn't notice. You didn't. I wasn't notice so it? much doing the voices; the voice was doing me. Wow. Yeah, like wow. I just voice. became the classic classy boy. Yeah, and like I, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like the voice did all of us. Uh, can I? I do recently a- made cheddar bay biscuits at home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? I, I did you, that in Dad? I, I did that in cooking class in high school. It was Yeah, they're easy. Yeah. Uh, can I, 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 go, I ordered can I tell you guys something? Yeah. yeah. We were talking about if we weren't in uh, I don't there's actually The no Year connection. of Our Lord twenty twenty? Yeah. I ordered on eBay. I ordered there's this new smart food uh, popcorn that has Captain Crunch berries cool. in it. Okay. And I really wanted to, I really wanted to try it because Dan, my co-host of my cereal podcast, The Empty Bowl, he had tried it, so I wanted to try it because mm. I want to try everything that Dan tries. So I, I, but I couldn't find it. it if Dan it, jumped uh, off a bridge, um, would you jump off a bridge? Uh, I mean, if he needed me to rescue him or something. No, it's bridge day. Uh, thir- I couldn't find them in stores because I don't really go to stores. Doors looking for popcorn, so I got some off eBay. Um, for three bags, I got some off eBay, and they were shipped to my home. And when I opened them, there was an I just wanted to say there was a envelope, and I opened the envelope, and there was a handwritten thank you note inside that said, um, 
thank you for buying this popcorn. I hope you find it delicious. And also inside there were four baseball cards. Oh. <laughs> and I just thought that was so Me, nice. I fucking love eBay bonuses. Yeah, just here's here's one thing I always do is um baseball cards. So there's four okay. baseball love cards. Love the captain. That's awesome. I, yeah, I just thought it was a nice little story. I wanted to share a little bright spot. Yeah, All right. Yeah, uh, I got Moving I got on. some bottle caps and a and a uh, toy that I found. I bought a toy and it came with bottle caps. And that's cool. Yeah, you can do a lot with those. Turn them into pins or uh, yeah, like capsy. Yeah. I like to fling them. You kind of put them yeah. between your your, your thumb oh, and your uh, finger. You fling them. 